Hello YouTube and welcome to Full Dottle, a channel dedicated to tamping topics such as pipes, tobacco, lore, and more. I am your host, the Bearded Briarman, and without further ado, let's get lit. Happy Cobb Tuesday, everyone, and on this episode of Full Doddle, I'm going to be telling you a little story about my time in high school when I caught a hummingbird. But first, a little housekeeping. I am smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Country Gentleman with a forever stem, and in it, I've got some GL Peace Odyssey. I don't smoke a lot of Latakia blends. This is actually a Balkan. I don't smoke a lot of Latakia laden blends anymore, uh, so this one's been sitting on the shelf since 2019. This month, as a matter of fact, 2019, so a few years age on it. Not too bad. Brings back memories. All right, so when I was in high school, my mother used to hang up a hummingbird feeder right outside of the kitchen window. And my dad and I got to talking. I don't know what started the conversation, but we started talking, and he told me that if you're really still and you stand there by that hummingbird feeder, you could catch a hummingbird. And so me being the skeptic that I am, I thought, right, I'm going to catch a hummingbird. Okay. So... A lot of people, when they don't believe something, they set out to prove it wrong, and that's exactly what I did. I wanted to prove them wrong by not being able to catch a hummingbird, but trying really, really hard. So what I did, he informed me that in order to be able to do it, you need to dry, uh, uh, dress in bright colors, something that is going to attract them, like a bright colored flower. And being from a hunting family in a rural part of Arkansas, I donned some hunter's orange. And I took a chair out there. That way I would be almost eye level with the hummingbird feeder. My parents didn't get home from work until around 7 o'clock in the evening. And so I spent hours that day after school standing just like this by the hummingbird feeder. And when a hummingbird would fly by, I would stay very still because at first, if this was the hummingbird feeder, the hummingbird would come in and look at you and then fly off. It wouldn't actually go to the hummingbird feeder. It was kind of um, hesitant and skeptic of, skeptical of what you were, you know. So it, it, they saw me and they didn't trust me even though I was being completely still and so they'd fly off. But after a few hours, I had a little ruby-throated hummingbird that was getting brave. It would come in, it would look at me for a little while, hover around, and then it would dart off. And then it would get a little closer and a little closer. And finally, it stuck its head in the little bell-shaped, flower-shaped um, dispenser of the feeder and its eyes crested past that, and then it would dart off. And I thought to myself, I'll give it one more time, and if it sticks its head in there long enough with its eyes covered, because it's going into the feeder, that's when I'm going to snap down and grab it like you would catch a fly out of the air, or if you've ever done the, the thing where you put quarters on your elbow and catch the, the quarters, that's what I'm going to do to catch it. So, sure enough, this little ruby-throated hummingbird came back. This time, didn't really pay me any mind whatsoever. So I'm standing there as, as still and as quiet as I possibly can. 
it sticks its head down in that bell and boom, I snatch that sucker right out of the air. It, you know, it wiggles and everything else and they've got this little tongue that darts out from their beak and I was just elated with the idea that I had actually caught this hummingbird and even, even further still that my dad was right. You can actually catch these things. There was about an hour left before my parents got home from work and I didn't know what else to do so I held on to that hummingbird for the entire hour until my parents got home from work and I showed them both, look, I caught it, I can prove it, I caught it. And then when I went outside to let it go, luckily the hummingbird was fine, I opened my hand to let it go, the hummingbird flew out of my hand, went just like a foot away from me, turned and looked at me, and started making the most god-awful squelching racket I've ever heard, just meh, 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 and then took off. So I got a thorough tongue lashing that day from a hummingbird, but I caught it. So it just goes to show you a little patience, a little perseverance, and you too can catch a hummingbird if you want to. That's going to do it for this episode of Full Doddle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And until the next time we see each other, I bid you farewell and happy piping. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to enlist in the Full Dottle Platoon. It's easy. Just click the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as I upload the next episode.